see YouTube. This is the uh, oil pump off of that um, 81 Jeep that I'm working on. <coughs> and what I wanted to do was blueprint this water pump to find out, or not a water pump, oil pump. I wanted to blueprint it to find out if I needed to get another one or if I could use this when it was in specs. Okay, so I cleaned it all off obviously because it was all black. You can see I marked it so it's easy to put back on. What I did with this then was I took the cover off, I took the two gears out and I cleaned it up really well. Or I should say my partner did because she uh, she's my crime, my partner in crime here with the truck. She uh, did most of the cleaning of everything but what we did is we took some of the red type um, uh, plastic gauge which is good from two thousandths to six thousandths and we put a piece of plastic gauge on there and if you look at that you can see that it's um, let's see right there it's about at six thousandths and once it's at six thousandths that's actually the limit of the spec from uh, the Jeep company or AMC so this um, oil pump is out of spec in that direction and as far as I'm concerned the uh, filter up here was so badly clogged up it was packed tight from one side all the way around to the other I was still considering using it because I could dip that into some bath of cleaner and get that all cleaned out but with having cleaned this up and checked the tolerances on this and found that it's at six thousandths which is the upper limit of the spec there's no sense in keeping this oil pump so the oil pump is you know like I say it's cleaned up but it's out of spec or going to be out of spec a month after we put it back together so what you do is you put the uh, plastic gauge on there and then you torque the um, plate and the bolts back down at whatever the torque was supposed to be, the torque rating. I don't have it at the tip of my tongue. It was this morning I did this. And then you, you, you know, you put that in here, you uh, tighten it down the test specs, and then you check the plastic gauge. You can see there's a lot of marks on this. There's some marks, roundish marks. That's sort of normal. It's not out of abnormal, but they're, they are starting to cut in pretty deep. And what I don't like about this uh, oil pump is I can barely turn that thing so the edges of the um, the uh, gears here are pretty damaged up there's a lot of shit that's gone through there pardon my French there are a lot of crap that's gone through there and um, it's just not worth putting back in I think another oil pump for this thing will be around 30 bucks or so so we'll have to add that to the list okay guys so basically you clean out the oil pump really good put it back together lay two pieces of plastic gauge on there and when you check it out like this one right here it says um, six thousandths I don't know if you can read that but that's six thousandths we're looking at and that means that it's just at the point where it's in spec one more thousandths and it's out so I'm not going to take the chance with that just get another one so that's how you do that have a good one bye